Hello and welcome to Rooster Crafts. I'm Ray and today I'm going to be showing how I did my art journal page using this stamp here from Woodware by Francois Reed um, and some nice different inks. So I've got some oxides and some distress inks and some versified hair. So I'm just going to take this out of the way to show you where I started. Okay, I'm using water card because this is going to be the best way to do it. And I've stamped it using Versifying Claire. And then I've painted it over with this, which is um, Pebio Drawing Gum. Um, it is water soluble, so you can wash your brush out after you've done it, which is quite useful because a lot of them mess your brushes up and they don't get to use afterwards. So I've used this and I'm going to show you how I do my background first. OK, so first off, I'm going to spritz the whole of my piece of watercolour card with some water. OK, because I want a wet surface. I'm using um, a Distress Oxide Spray. This is one of the new colours. This is Prize Ribbon. It's a really nice, rich blue. And I'm just going to put a couple of squirts on, OK? Not going too mad. I'm put a bit more water on because I want to move it around a little bit and I'm just going to sort of let it move and do so I'm just going to put some water where I so it looks a bit more like it's uh, flowing around okay I'm going to take off a bit excess water and the excess colour where I don't want it because I've got quite a lot on here but it just gives it a a chance to give it a bit of a, a sort of a C I'm just using a bit of kitchen roll to do this just to to take it out but because the card's wet it still moves when I'm doing it which is quite nice and then you just put that to one side to dry okay so I'll put that to one side to dry and just like Big Peter here is one I did before okay and I've rubbed off my um drawing ink off of here which leaves me this nice white background for me to paint for a jellyfish okay i just use my finger to rub the drawing gum off nothing fancy and um, bit so right colors that i'm using for my jellyfish are um the distressing so it's picked raspberry the new saltwater taffy and the venus potion which came out at halloween last year um it's quite a heavy purple so you don't want too much but it is nice to have um a bit around Okay, so I'm just going to put it, this is my blending mat that I'm using here, so it's just sort of to hold the inks quite nicely while I'm working with it. A little bit of water, because I need some water under my thing. And I have a tissue which I keep where I'm working, because that will just take off the excess water that I'm using, so I don't end up with it looking sort of like too much like a wash. Right, I'm just going to start putting some colour in. I'm just dropping it in loosely. I'm not trying to, to shade or do anything fancy. I'm just dropping some colour in. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to pick up some of the other colours and put those in so that they'll move with it all and help to blend the colours in so it's not going to be too... Right. Jellyfish always make me think of an iridescence, so I'm just putting a little bit of different colours in to help it feel like it has that sort of iridescence that would naturally occur. Okay, I'm going to put a bit more colour there. Put a bit here, put a bit more water on it just to help it bleed across for me. There we go. A little bit more purple. Okay, I think that looks quite good. Take that colour into here, the bit darker one for a minute. And the nice thing about this is I'm not trying to make it and shade it and do anything fancy with it. I'm just literally putting some colour down and letting it move with the with the water. So it's sort of doing its own thing. It's not sort of trying to be too much of shading or making it sort of be anything particular. It's just moving because of the liquid that's already there, okay? Which is nice. Right, so I've got me done like so. Now I'm going to do my little bits down here, um, and I'm just going to put some colour 
in my so i put a bit in here but i'm not going to do it and make it symmetrical so i'm coming down and going to do different bits in different parts so it's not i'm not trying to make it all symmetrical um on the coloring as much as i could do because of how it's been drawn i'm just going to put little bits in where i fancy in my different colors and i hope today that it is giving you um the sound because last week we didn't get any sound did we so i've been playing with it and i did test this morning and it worked so my fingers are crossed that it's still working today if not we shall have to try something else it's because we're using a new program um for recording at the shop so it's just to um see how things are working and if it doesn't do it we'll we'll, we'll change what we're doing but uh, you have to try these things out don't you see what happens because we're doing these lives now and that but uh, i think there's a make and takes happening at the shop today so if you happen to have a chance to go down and have a look it might be worth it to have and see what everybody's doing we've got a new class list of different things coming up and bits so it's all changing and all happening at the shop which is nice Right, so that's my jellyfish coloured. Okay, I'm not going to do much more to that than that is. I'm just going to take this excess in off my mat so I don't stick my hand in it. Not for any other reason, because I know what I'm like. Right, now I'm going to use the um, bits and pieces that we ca that came with the stamp. So I'm using little bits of um, coral the bit that gives you like the, the ground feel this, and then there's got some little fishes so i'm just going to put those onto a block so i'm going to be able to move them around a little bit more then so i'm just putting these put my bits that i either way around and i've got myself a selection of different inks here but these are all versatile and clear so i've got some different colors to play with to see how and what i fancy so i've got some different colors out how I go with. So I'm going to start off with this yellowy green colour. And I'm not going to go all the way down the stamp. So I'm not covering the whole stamp. I'm sort of doing the top half because I'm going to sort of like build up. So I've got them going in different and different ones in front of them to give me a sense of colour and shape and bits. So there's more happening. So I want some of them to be a little bit more sort of blocked out, if that makes sense. So I've done that colour, so I'll put that lid back on for a minute. I'm going to do another purple. Okay, now, so the purple one there can come right in the front of that one because it looks like it's overlapping. And I'm just going to do a tap on a top one so that we've got a, more of a vacant area here. And put a little bit there. One of the best things about this is you can put as much in or as little in as you like and it will just sort of give you a feel and you can keep going over it and adding to it as you go along which is quite nice that's sort of green some green done and we're going to have a little bit of pink now Okay, so that's my coral reef done. I've got the one that looks like sand. I'm just going to go back to um, a yellowy green one. This is a versifying um, a normal one. This is the one I've got a slightly different tone. I'm just going to put some bits in here that make it look like it's on sand.
put a bit more in. There we go. So that's done that little bit. Put those out of the way for now. And we're going to need some fishes. So we're going to use the um, saltwater taffy on the distressings here to do this. So I'm just going to put my fish in. And I've got some bubbles coming out, so I'm going to put some here. There we go. And we're going to have a few coming down here, right down by the, the wreath. And we're going to have a few more over here. Okay, so that's that bit done. And that, so it's quite quick, but what makes it, especially if you want, if you're if you're not somebody who does art journaling and it's, you want to use it more for your card making is you can just if you trim it so you're just going to trim your down to how you want it to look okay now so i've trimmed all my tatty edges off it now and if i just get my myself a little bit of black paper I can mount that like so and that will give me a really different car front that looks quite quite posh and quite nice a different feel to your work that you would probably do normally and that is literally how I do my art journal page and also how I would turn this into my card so I'm just going to put my put some glue on it Again, using my favourite glue, which is the Pin Flare Book Binders, um, I find this works really well for holding everything that I want it to do. I don't end up arguing with it, which is the best bit because there's nothing worse than doing that. Put that there, like so. I'm having a nice weekend and just chilling out and doing not too much. Okay, there we are. Right, and then here's the one that I did earlier. So I'll just show you quickly how easy it is to just rub off. the Pebeo drying gum. By the way, this was actually painted on last week. So it's been sat on it for a week waiting for me to do the demo. Um, and it still just comes off, no problem, off a watercolour card to give you your background. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed watching it today. And that, it's a very quick and simple one, but it's just a little bit of something a bit different to how you do normally using your oxides and your stress inks. And then using your first fine clay, which are pigmenting so that they don't run. I hope you liked it and I shall see you next week. Take care, everybody.